Watch out! A new technique. I see my way. Keep your eyes open.
it's time. It's time. I see my way clear.
going against wind. I trust you can use it to the full.
should come in handy. It's time. Right now. Luminous energy. Turn the key. Crush them. I've had enough. Get lost. Target confirmed. War spares no one. Trust you can use it to the full. Eyes open. Right now. Summer! Strike! 
All is fair in war. Exterminate. <laughs> Unleash the fan. My field of expertise. Time to wrap it up. Zach's drink, our turn. Cleave it. Target lets slip the dogs of war. All is fair in war. Exterminate. War spares no one. Tear them to pieces. My fear of that's good to you. I've had enough. Get lost. Target lets slip the dogs of war. All is fair in war. I trust you can use it to the full.
Keep your eyes open. we 
find is not part of my pay. It's all yours. It's time. All is fair. War, war spares no one. Saw that coming. No escape! Listen up! Destination. Time flies by. Anything can change. Remember to stop and look around as you explore. Maybe there are ancient... Even everything that has happened. The 
This year's Moon Chasing Festival in Jinzhou is sure to be quite special. Yeah, I caught them hanging lanterns all around City Hall. And we've got special Jinzhou traditions you won't find anywhere else. Like Tell You and Veil. Folks go there a few days before the festival to write their wishes onto paper. Then hang them on branches or toss them into Moon Tree Lodge. They say wishes made during these days are sure to come true. Works like a charm. Wanna give it a go? All you gotta do is write down your wish, real simple. Yang Yang, Baija, and I are already here. Great! See you at Taoyuan Vic. Destination. Where's the destination? Where's the destination? Come on, let us in on it. So, so you mean that big Mount Firmament thingy that shocked all of Jinzhou? Uh, no, wait, that shocked all of Huanglong was all because of you? Rover saves the day yet again. With the Thrinodian defeated, our Sentinel and the Jinjo Magistrate have resumed their duties. Jinjo will have peace and prosperity once more. Yes. A rover? And the Sentinel did give you certain insights about your memory loss. While there's still much to uncover, at least we're on the right track. At long last! We can finally have some fun! Hey, what better time to celebrate than the Moon Chasing Festival, right? You, me, Yang Yang, and Baicha, the four of us will have a great time munching on treats and enjoying looking at the full moon. And let's not forget about the Moonlit Fair. It's exclusive to Chin Chou, happening only on the night of the festival. Wait till I show you the biggest lantern show of the fair. That's a wonderful idea. Let's enjoy the festival together. I'm sure there'll be plenty of interesting things to pique your interest. Everyone in Jinjo will be there. There's a high chance we'll run into some familiar faces. Then it's a deal. Mark my words. With us around, you'll be in for a moon chasing festival you'll remember for life. Shoot, we got so distracted with everything else. I almost forgot about your wish for the wishing tree. It's a huge deal. You won't want to miss it. That's right. Remember what I told you about wishes made under the wishing tree coming true? There are stories of it flying around, especially in recent years. The wishes people make on the eve of the moon chasing festival seem to come true in one form or another. A few years ago, Jin Zhou had endless rain. Yang Yang wished for clear skies for the festival and a perfect moonlit fair. And guess what? The rain stopped and the moon was full and bright. Exactly. I thought I'd try my luck, but it actually happened. Perhaps just a pleasant coincidence. The Moon Chasing Festival does have a history of such coincidences. Maybe there's something to the Wishing Tree's magic after all. Or maybe there's a mysterious hero inside the Wishing Tree, making our dreams come true. Just like you. 
you save the world without anyone noticing. If you're not in the next season of Hero Place, I'm out. All right, better get to it before we... The wishing tree is just up ahead. Off you We've already made our wishes. Mine's for the Moonlit Fair to draw in a huge crowd and for everyone to have a fantastic time. As for Yang Yang, she wished for endless happiness and happy reunions for all families. She, uh, eh, she's not really into wishes. Don't mind me. I tend not to make wishes. But if I did, it would probably be similar to Yang Yang's. There, you're the last one left. Oh, and don't forget about Abby. I'm sure the little guy doesn't want to miss out. Who's there? What's going on? Make a wish? So tired. Just make one for me. Uh, I want mm, lots of goodies to eat. Yeah. Well, what did Abby? Well, after you finished at the wishing tree, come see us at the moonlit fair. <laughs> I'll be over at Ching Shi's moon shooter stall. It's not fully set up yet, but I can give. Moon Chasing Festival. Wishes. Moon Chasing Festival. Wishes. 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 Is that... a robot? Wishes. Wishes. Seems to be malfunctioning. Can't tell who left it here. I should try asking around. Excuse me, have you seen this robot before? Do you know where it's from? It's acting a bit strangely. Uh, it looks like one of those robots from the Moon Tree Lodge. It's like the wishing well under the wishing tree. People toss their hopes and dreams in there and poof, you can even say it's part of the wishing tree. But wishes made at the lodge are more public, anyhow. I saw that robot hovering around there earlier. The Moon Tree Lodge. Might as well drop by if it's at the Wishing Tree. Mother told me the moon. It's time. 
time. There's no time to waste. I gotcha. Something seems to have malfunctioned with you. I'll take care of it. One moment. Run onboard diagnostics. Command initiator, Xian Li Yao. Authentication confirmed. Feltering wishes. Beep beep. Wishing for a bright future. Glory on the battlefield. Abandon hope of loved ones returning home. Beep. Hmm. It's possible that Patty's memory is overloaded with wishes, leading to anomalies mixed within. Wishes. Analyzing cause. 21 solutions have been provided. Correction. 12. Correction. 4. Wishes. And solutions. Could this relate to what Chisha said about someone at Moon Tree Lodge making wishes come true? Perhaps. Isolating abnormal data. Running data correction. There. Give it another go, Patty. Performing onboard diagnostics. All systems normal. Patty feels full. That should do the trick for now. But where could the anomalies have... I apologize for keeping you waiting. It's just a temporary measure. I'll need to conduct a thorough examination later. Thank you for turning him to me. Yes. I've heard a lot about you from my colleagues at the Academy. Many of them are eager to meet you. I hope their enthusiasm hasn't been too overwhelming for you. Xiang Li Yao, a pleasure to meet you. I regret that I was away during your first visit to the Academy, but I'm glad to finally have the chance to meet you. I merely provided a few ideas, but I'm glad I was able to help. I was assisting the Ministry of Development with the damaged surveillance tower. By the time I returned to the lab, you'd already left. The next time I heard any news about you was regarding the battle at the Norfall Barrens. This year's moon-chasing festival could only have proceeded thanks to your efforts. Well, come to think of it, I should be thanking you personally. The Moon Tree Lodge wouldn't have opened as planned if it weren't for you. Hero? <laughs> it's not as grand as that. It started by trying to help children fulfill their wishes. However, I do hope you can keep that between us. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. Seeing everyone's wishes come true and everyone enjoying the festival is enough for me. Fulfilling wishes. Happy! What will you taste like, important guest? Apologies. Patty doesn't mean anything strange by that. Patty was born in the Moon Tree Lodge. It deciphers the emotions behind wishes, analyzing their structure in a unique way. To Patty, every wish has a unique taste. You can think of it as Patty's way of understanding the world. Besides bringing Patty back, I presume you're here to make a wish as well? In that case, 
May I suggest we head over to the wishing stall for a chat? Destination. destination. Where's the destination? Welcome. I wish I could extend a warmer greeting, but Patty has run into some technical difficulties. We cannot ex I apologize for the inconvenience. I would be glad to take note of your wish and have it prioritized once everything is resolved. How intriguing. In that case, I promise to do everything I can to make your wish a reality at the festival. For now, I must concentrate on restoring the Moon Tree Lodge as quickly as possible. In a nutshell, it appears Patty's malfunction is more than a straightforward. At first, I suspected an overload of Patty's analysis module due to an accumulation of wishes over the years. However, during my recent testing, I discovered unusual codes embedded within Patty's database. Like a virus, they spread drastically with the addition of each wish. Additionally, Although it was only for a brief moment, I detected abnormal frequency fluctuations after connecting Patty to my terminal. In theory, a robot's data should not generate such fluctuations. It's too early to draw a conclusion just yet, but I can't leave the matter unresolved. It'll only be a matter of time before all the wishes stored in the Moon Tree Lodge are devoured by this abnormal code. I've isolated the four wishes with unreadable codes. I plan to track down whoever made these wishes, try to fulfill them, and uncover the root up before that. I need to try to decode the wishes corrupted by these anomalies. To minimize data loss, it would be best to complete this a week before the Moon Chasing Festival. It does have its challenges. Yes. Ying Ying and the rest have set their hearts on this festival. I appreciate the gesture, but I wouldn't want to trouble you. I see. Seems we have a new friend now, Patty. You, Jan Lee, Yao, and Patty, wishes come true. Yes. The lodge opens to the public before the Moonlit Fair. There will be many interesting activities on the day of the fair. If you're interested, you can go and take a look yourself. analysis. This individual wishes to disappear from this world, indicating a desire to terminate their existence and for all associated social connections to be abraced. Feasibility 
zero percent, causing physical. Uh, this is Shang Li, Patty's work buddy. Patty gathers and analyzes the wishes, and Shang Li helps make them become a reality. Shang Li is the first prototype of its series, and my colleagues at the Academy began calling it Little Shang Li. <laughs> well, it seems to like this name a lot, so consider it a birthday gift from everyone at the Academy. Analysis conclusion. The wish exhibits strong self-denial and self-destructive tendencies, indicating a high level of danger. Puppy does not understand this wish. Patty does not, cannot, hurt humans. Just as I've suspected. This is the reason why this wish failed to be interpreted. Written words are different. It is often the case that words spoken aloud sometimes contradict our innermost thoughts. Those willing to entrust their wishes to the Moon Tree Lodge hope this is just my personal belief. But I suspect he's not truly ready to give up, which means he's... Yes, I want to uncover the true desire hidden... Will fulfilling his true wish help to ease his suffering? Yes, I hope it will. We should start by locating the Wisher. If I recall correctly, fortunately, we know that he's a researcher. And this paper, it's from a type of notebook commonly used at the account. I'll decipher these codes, and then we... Investigator Shang Li, we have a problem. Prototype 49's core has gone out of control. Lock down the lab. Already sent... All right, tell everyone to stay... There's been a moment... I'm afraid I'll have to leave the task of finding Xiao Sheng to you. Thank you. I already... Good luck, my friend. Good. There's no time to waste. Where's the destination? Alert! The person ahead is confirmed to possess information related to Xiaosheng. Based on the writing style, paragraphing habits, and content of the wish, it can be inferred that Xiao Sheng is likely introverted and may exhibit nervousness in public settings, difficulty in communication, and a preference for solitary activities. These characteristics match this individual's behavior. A definitive conclusion cannot be drawn. Master requests that Shang Li avoid making judgments about humans solely based on their external appearances. According to my data analysis, there is a 25.4% correlation between these two individuals. Wow, what a cute little robot. Would it feel weird to ask if I could do a sketch of it? I'll just do it at a distance once they've walked away. Oh, whoa! H hi! Lovely weather, huh? Can I help you? Analyzing weather conditions. Detecting a rapid increase in air humidity and a significant drop in air pressure. Data suggests rainfall should be expected within the next few hours, covering 60% of the Jinjo area. Um, uh, that's right. The weather isn't actually all that great. I didn't realize. <laughs> Sorry, 
I don't think you mean anything bad. I'm just not very good at talking to strangers, that's all. M my name is Jiaqi. Um, nice to meet you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, hold on. It's not the due date for the Sounds of Spring's Dawn yet. Do you mean to tell me... They're changing the requirements again? Speculation. The Xiaosheng mentioned by both parties does not appear to be the same individual. A painter? Oh, no, 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 no. It's just a hobby. But is something wrong? Well, someone who goes by the name Xiao Sheng? Maybe a shy researcher? I've never heard of anyone by that name. Sorry, I couldn't help. I, I don't have a wide social circle, mostly just my painting clients, but I'll let you know if I do. You're welcome. I, uh, I'll be on my way then. Goodbye. The individual showed no signs of abnormalities when... Might as well ask another researcher. Detected. Individual meeting search criteria. Analyzing target identity. Re Been tossing and turning all week. Been scrolling through the forums lately? There's this thing blowing up called... Attention! During our conversation with Shifan, another... Oh. You were eavesdropping on us. Sorry about that, but... But I had a good re... You want to help him fulfill the wish he submitted with a pseudonym. But... Well, it's obvious just by looking at the two of you. That robot you have there... My name's Zhou Li. Xiaosheng's my friend, as a matter of fact. You've already met him. No. He probably realized who you were as well. I was just... He's always been the center of it. But at some point in time, every time I asked him, he'd always wriggle his way out of it. No, oh, that's from an accident during an experiment involving Echoes a while back. It wasn't too bad, but it, at first... I thought that maybe Shifan started distancing himself from me because... So, I have a... I want to know what kind of wish he made, and if possible... The integrity of Joe Lee's information is estimated to be at around 99. So that's how it is. Is he blaming himself for my injury? He wrote that wish, but he's still the man he was before. Which makes me feel even more worried for him. Thank you for telling me all this. He's been fascinated by Echoes ever since he was... He loves Echoes so much. And I think this might be a good place to start to have him open up to you. Please. Hi there. How are things... Transferring progress. Fantastic. In a long story short, I've managed to... Dis it's Echoes. The code mentions three echo sample datasets Shifan once needed for his research. According to the Academy's archives, his research partner, Joe Lee, had an accident while searching for these echoes. I hope this data can be of help to you. Well then, it's time to look for some echoes. Zackstring, our turn. It's nothing. You'll pay for this. Listen up. Luminous energy. Tear the new pieces. My field of expertise. 
escape. All target echoes acquired. Task. I knew you could do it. Transmission is normal? Yes, that's everything. It's one of Shang Li's features. I'll remotely control Shang Li. Plus, I suspect Shifan might find it difficult to open up in front of a colleague from the Academy. <laughs> a similar no time like the present? Let's be on our way. Back again. Uh, no luck finding sh what do you mean? This this is echo testing data. What are you planning on doing with Wait, where did you get this data? Shang Li and the rover are researching echoes but have hit a dead end. They heard that Mr. Shifan is an expert in this particular field and are seeking his help. That was a long time ago. Oh. Very well. What do you want to know? The data you gave me is packed with motion values. I would start by understanding how the echo adapts to different geographies and these numbers. If we cross-reference them with standard values, the fitting coefficient nearly hits one. It looks like your model's direction might be on track. Oh, the more I look at this data, the more I think, had it reached me earlier, things might have been different. This data, how much do you want for it? I'll pay anything. No, even with this, I can't do it on my own. What, what do you mean? You have always had regrets, both for your friend and for your echo research. I, I don't get your meaning. There was a serious accident during the experiment and I was the one who shut it down. How could I? <laughs> We saw the wish you made at the Moon Tree Lodge, but it seems that may not be what you truly wish for. Your true wish is to continue your research of echoes with the one and only friend who understands your passion. Is this correct? <laughs> I never thought my wish would actually be heard. You're right. I am Xiao Sheng, the loser who spends his nights complaining in bed. I worked hard to get myself into the Academy. We promise to push the boundaries in Echo Research. I always believed we could produce groundbreaking results, maybe even touch the essence of the lament through our research. Yet, my stubbornness in continuing the experiment without adequate samples, I chose to continue the testing. That's why he missed the window for treatment. Not once did I visit him during the final test periods. And I was the only one left on the project. It wasn't until I sat alone in the empty lab that I realized I had hurt my friend. But when I lie in bed awake at night, I've heard enough! Pull yourself together already! Jolie, where did you- I'll tell you right now, I never blamed you for what happened. I felt the same as you right from the start. On our path of pursuing new discoveries, I was willing to pay any price. What I don't accept is you calling quits halfway. But I'm not done yet. Okay. It blows my mind that this is why you stopped talking to me. While I'm at it, you haven't changed a bit since we were kids. You get in the habit of running away from any problems you face that are non-research related. I'm... It is wonderful to have someone to support you on the journey to achieve greatness in research. It seems even without our help, this wish has been fulfilled. This in turn indicates that Shaosheng's wish is not the source of the abnormal codes. Yes, there are more wishes to decipher. Now? We should make our way back to the Moon Tree Lodge. Hello. I hope you've been well. Remember how I mentioned that the stall vendors at the Moonlit Fair will adjust their offerings based on everyone's wishes? Based on the wishes we've received so far, I've thought of a few excellent themes. 
Maybe we can start preparing for them.
time. Who's the prey now? My field of expertise, Zap Strength. It's our curtain call. Destination. Good. There's no time to waste.
mother told me the Moonlit Fair will start once the wishing tree is filled with wishes. Good. There's no time to waste. Vale hasn't been this busy in a long time. Good. There's no time to waste. Where's the destination?
Good. There's no time to waste. Where's the destination?
the destination. might not reflect their deepest wish, but they both wanted help. So aside from helping her make it... Indeed, though she speaks of another world, we can't draw a conclusion solely her Aang and her son. What's their story? What is it? It's... No, nothing. It's just that... Is it really for us to take on a wish tied to life and death? She knows the pain of separation from a loved one better than anyone else. If we handle this wrong, so that's what you're worried about. It seems what Bai just said about you is true. You do have a gentle soul. <laughs> Ever thought about becoming the mysterious wish granter of Moon Tree Lodge yourself? You're right to be concerned. Ignoring people's power role is to listen, understand, and but it's getting late. Let me know when you're ready for. Excuse me? Oh, hello. My name is Xiang Li Yao. Rover. Rover? Oh, I remember now. My thanks to you. You've realized my since he was little, my boy, he'd always say, I'll conquer the Thranodian one day. So ever, huh? yes. I always had faith that my son would achieve his dream. Once, he and some rangers stayed behind during a mission to give folks like me a chance to flee. I know he did it to chase his dreams, but I just... Oh, his mischief sometimes tried my patience. But now, the silence is overwhelming. But before he left, he made me promise to be witness to the day the Thranodians are finally gone. Oh dear. I've rambled on about my boy again. Do you remember the wish you made at the Moon Tree Lodge, Mrs. Herting? Well, of course. I do. Everyone knows the Moon Tree Lodge. You granted his wish beautifully. I 
trust you might do the same for mine. As I've mentioned in my wish, I find- When deciding your answer, oh, yes. I recall they say it's best to speak the answer in front of the Moon Tree Lodge. Oh, Mrs. He Ing, might you consider a visit to the lodge with us? A walk? Oh, my heart hasn't really been in it since I lost my son. Well, okay. What was that about? <laughs> it was just a little trick to get Mrs. Herting to join us at the lodge. You probably sensed it after hearing her story. The promise between Mrs. Herting and her son wasn't just about seeing it in her grief. Mrs. Herting overlooked what her son truly wished for. I believe he wanted her to see Jinjo uniting to defeat the Cernodian and the joy and security he sacrificed himself to safeguard. His wish for his mother represents not just life's simple joys, but also the courage to keep living. Though I can't say for certain, the moonlit fair in Taoyuan Vale holds the dreams of many. Perhaps there's something her son wanted her to see, a reason to embrace life. Huh. How are you youngsters falling behind an old lady? Come on. I'm waiting on you. It's time. This year's moon chasing- Indeed it is. You young folks must be thrilled with all this. Mrs. Hung has been doing her best to stay cheerful since we arrived at Tao Yuan Vale. <gasps> Happy moon chasing fest. This one is exquisite. You have excellent taste, Mum. The fireworks seem to fly to the other side of the fair. Ah, yes. They represent the Midnight Rangers. A special touch from Ms. Jujic. She hopes that everyone who sees this fan will feel the liveliness of the Moon Chasing Festival. And remember that the festivities are all thanks to the brave rangers. The fireworks flying to the other side are meant to share the celebration with the soldiers on the front lines. This year's fireworks display will be the biggest yet. Even the soldiers should be able to see it. You won't want to miss it. I'd like to buy one of these fans. It's time. Oh my. Taoyuan Vale hasn't been this busy in a long time. Ah, the Moon Shooter Gallery. This is her. <clears throat> Happy Moon Chasing Festival, everyone. Wow, very impressive shooting skills. Here are your prizes. These prizes? That's right. The Moonlit Fair is about community. A ranger instructor taught us how to make them. Even though he's no longer with us, his instructions and methods continue to guide us. These tools were a great help when we first joined the rangers. Please take them, Mrs. Herring. I'm sure Shouyuan would want you to have them. And you are... You might not remember, but after Shouyuan passed, I tried to visit you. You didn't want to see me then. I never expected we'd meet here. It's good to see you out and about. Show you when always talked about how good a mother you were. By the way, some of the soldiers who served with Show you when are here today. I'm sure they'd love to see you. Look, here they come. It's 
It's an honor to finally meet you, Mrs. Hoeing. Shoyuan was an incredible mentor to me. I wouldn't have the nerve to wield a weapon now if it wasn't for him. I heard you were the one who taught him how to overcome his fear of the water. So, the boy taught you everything I taught him. Mrs. Hoeing? Mrs. Her- Oh, I'm still here. Please, go on. Of course, ma'am. Why don't we go have a seat over there for- Before that, thank you, Shangli Yao and Rover. Just as I said before, I knew that both of you would make my wish come true. But before I visit the Moon Tree Lodge for the answer, I'd like to walk around a bit more on my own. I trust that this answer will be right for you. Yes. Thank you, both. Do you think Mrs. Hung understood the promise she made to her son? We can't be sure just yet, but at least she's made a good start. Don't you agree? Now she isn't just going along with us. She's searching for the life her son wanted for her. I believe she'll uncover her answer someday and make her... But it means this wasn't the wish affecting Patty either. We'll have to keep digging. At any rate, more stalls are being set up in Taoyuan Vale. Care to explore further? Keep your eyes open. Mother told me the Moonlit Fair will start once the Wishing Tree is filled with wishes. 